hello everyone in this video i'm going to explain about how to update the things in linkedin so in case if you are looking for job and if you are pinging the people in linkedin chat your profile should be updated in a proper way so i am just informing in the overview of my linkedin profile from the laptop so once you log in you will be able to get the main page so here if you are able to see in left hand side you will get an option how many persons viewed your profile and these are the things which what are the in uh, extra like in case if there are invites which will come for any training so those training will get training information will be mentioned here and let me explain you each and everything because there are many uh, new people who are new to LinkedIn or who might have created so they might not have whom to take guidance so I'll just explain each and everything so this page is called start a post so once you click here we can post what the uh, that we are looking for job in 9 to 10 lines in our paragraphs so with our mail ID number current and preferred location if possible we can also add notice period and what is our total years of experience which field we have experience and which field you are looking and make sure this has been selected for everyone not for only the connection only in case if you select connections only only the connection people will be able to see if you click on everyone all the people will be able to view your post and once if you are uploading a video this is the option uploading if you are adding a photo you can do it and even I believe we have an option to attach. So once you are po posting that you are looking for job, uh, not necessary or not compulsion to put a attach the resume. So this is one thing. So let me. So this is the option called me. So this option is where we can check our profile. So I'll I'm just checking view. I'm just clicking on view profile. And before going on to the view profile, so we have an option called here setting and privacy help. So if you want you can check those things and uh, settings and privacy so it will give you a clarity like what and all options which we can make privacy or uh, which is visible and in case if your account is closed or if you want to uh, take help of LinkedIn team like in asking any queries you can raise a ticket in help so once you raise the ticket the current the concerned people will be able to respond you in case if there is any update via email and let so maybe I'll explain you at the end of the video how to raise a ticket but let me first view the profile so this is my profile so here if you are able to see this is called headline so I have mentioned whatever things about me so in case if you are looking for job just click on this column pencil mark and you'll be able to get a column called headline so there you can add that immediately looking for job change in uh, and you can mention the field whichever field you are looking just try to add those and uh, you can also add the current company experience if you are working and which industry you are into college name and city name so these are the things and once you save it will get saved next comes this so here also you will be able to see how many people viewed your profile uh, in the main page and it will be only accessible for you <clears throat> and here this is the column called featured post so here it comes after about column so featured post is something what whichever is an important post it will be it can be saved here <clears throat> so in case if you want one particular post uh, which is want to feature Whenever you post certain thing, just make it like featured on top of the profile when you click that three dots so that it will get saved here. So any important post which can be checked in these rows and this is called about column. So about column is the thing where we can update about our roles and responsibilities in case if you are experienced like your skills, which field you are interested, your email ID. Um, then your preferred and current location number so all these things if you update it will be easy for the HR people to contact you and meanwhile try to update your uh, 
mail id and number in this particular about column because it will be easy if the person is not connected with you and they won't be able to check your contact info column so unless and until if i am connected with a person i can check their contact info if not i won't be able to check their contact info if you are looking for a job please update your mail id number and preferred location current location and this is called activity column and these are the connections like how much you have so that on once you cross more than 30k connections it will be impossible to accept or give request that easily it will create a issue so where you can only have a followers so more than 30k connections it's a followers and if anyone is posting and if you want to ping them you should use linkedin premium in order to get connected if they are more than 30k if they are below 29500 they can accept your request so let me go through the activity column show all activity so in this particular column this is the option where you can see what and all post are liked and commented and this particular column post so this is the option which you can check what are the post which has been posted by the person in the last 30 days in the last 40 days 60 days okay so one by one you can check and here if you are able to see you can even get the impressions on your post how many impressions how many person have re reshared it or shared it and uh, we can also so the i told you right that featured post how to make it just click this and if you click on this feature on top of the profile your post will get featured in the main page so it will be easy for the person to check and uh, apart from that so yeah these are the things about post column so if you want to check any of my post you can randomly check or if you want to check any specific openings for example if you are from kyc aml and if you wanted to know about the post which i shared in kyc aml just type my name and just put kyc aml so you will be able to get the post which ever i have shared in the easier way like 5 days back i have shared one post 4 days back 3 weeks back 3 months back so it will be easy so similar to that you can also add like accounts payable so if you try to check like this you will get a idea like who had posted the openings recently if you are able to see i have already liked the post before and there is a walk in drive which has been mentioned by the hr in conduent company so this is how you can check when based on the keywords like if you are from a particular department put that hashtag and if you add it and you will be able to get their post uh, who are as posted in the linkedin so that you will get a clarity like who takes care of your particular department now coming to the experience column so try to mention the experience column in clearly with all the process and never reveal anything on the client or too confidential information just mention whatever is necessary it is enough and apart from that like uh, so i have mentioned all the experience details and uh, year of pass out i've added college name i've added and uh, school name is not compulsion but i have added actually and this is called skills column so these are the skills which people can endorse you or if not they can try to uh, give it for so here they have given there are a lot of skills which has been given one is for public speaking team management hr career counseling leadership customer relationship management mentoring payments so these are the skills which i have made it like based on my uh, profile so you can update the skills whichever is relevant to you next coming to the recommendation list so these are the recommendation which are given by my candidates okay so you can send a link to them 
so they will be able to write about you and uh, once once they try to write that uh, once they complete that uh, information in four lines about us you you will be again getting that link to you once they update it like they will give a recommendation link once you click that link and approve it it will come and sit in particular this particular row which is your dead end of your profile so these are the recommendations which are being given by my ex candidates by known my known people and my ex colleagues so and also my friends so it's a mixture of people who has given a recommendation about me as you are able to see since 2019 so i have got a recommendation since march 2019 so do ask recommendation with your ex colleagues or any of your ma manager in case if you are a normal uh, person uh, because i have worked as an hr before and uh, as i was able to know how to hire so because of that i was able to handle lot of things for recruitment stuff in bangalore location and uh, i'm happy to continue also whatever best i can so nearly 39 nearly 40 people like 40 or 42 people have given recommendation about me uh, so this is all about linkedin profile so there are many people who also tell that my manager is there in my connections or if not like my manager is not connected but he would review my profile or i'm afraid to update so whoever if you are feeling that if you are not happy to know that that your company colleague should not know about it just make the settings option first degree connection only so that you your pick will not be revealed to other people so i have made it only for my connections it is visible and it will not be visible to any other people so i am just giving you a simple information which is clear and crisp so that no one will get a doubt or no one should tell that i am not aware how to update so that's why i am making this video so be little careful on updating your things properly it is not that difficult it's very easy to update and once you learn how to use this definitely you can get a good job or if not like your career path will go on a right track and let me tell you on this help option i am just clicking on help settings and privacy okay let me click on settings and privacy so here if you want to raise a ticket you have your help center i am clicking it the um, so try to put any keyword so you will be able to get certain columns and if you want to raise a ticket you have to click on this contact us column and here you have to click on get help from us so once you click this particular option so you can click other option type the topic whatever and you will get the other option like whatever for example you can type it like i am unable to send connection request i'm just giving you a example and click enter so here if you are typing like this you will get a pop up like create a support ticket once you click this you have to add your mail id what issue type okay whether it is related to what particular issue like you can select it based on the sub options available and it will ask whether it comes in mobile or laptop and what device it will ask you and try to put a just put the query whatever you have and if you have any error message or anything like that add attachment 
and then you can submit the ticket this is how we have to raise a ticket in linkedin unless and until it is anything important not for everything so try to uh, just felt informing you this particular option so that people will be aware i'm not sure if any other youtube in it will be clearly mentioned but just for your purpose it's mentioned and yeah so th that's it on this video i hope this video gave you a clear clarity on how to update and i'll tell you one more thing there are certain people who tell i don't know how to update when i left the company so click this pencil mark click again this pencil mark and when you untick this you can you can add your month year format and you can update when you left your company so this is how you can update when you have left the company thank you everyone so i'll end this video if anything is there do so do check my uh, this youtube video channel once in a while or if you subscribe it definitely you will get a notification